Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great week so far. If not, I hope the content of this video can change a bit of that. Today is a good Friday to plan your next beach trip. If you're someone who loves going to the beach and enjoying the sound of the ocean, walking barefooted on the shore, or maybe sitting just quietly and relaxing. And finally, if you love doing all this with your friends, then you're going to love what I'm gonna to share today on the vlog. If you go to the beach often, you may have encountered this issue where, you know, sometimes there are too many people at the beach and it makes it very difficult to have your own space just to chill. So perhaps having the luxury of your own deck where you and your friends could just enjoy your own private beach experience with music and the snacks and the drinks and the grills could elevate this experience for you. So last weekend, I got to experience that at Kokrobi Langma Beach with Elaine and a couple of her friends. And that's what I'm here to talk about if you're interested in trying it out too. I'm going to try and break it down as best as I can so that it's easy for you to judge if this is something you would want to do with your friends. So if I'm not able to do full justice, I'll leave a link to the Instagram account in the description below so that you can make further inquiries after this video. Now the deck. The deck as the name <clears throat> suggests is a small beachfront property with a deck which according to the renters was a beach, uh, private beach place that has been in the family of the owners about for about three generations but now it's available for rent if that's something you would want to explore. It's a hut with a kitchen and a shower and a toilet as well as a grill and a spacious enough deck with lazy beach chairs and other things that you may need to make your beach day much more enjoyable and it can accommodate about 10 to 12 adults with your snacks and food and drinks and all. So where is the deck? You will find a deck at Kokrobite Langma to be precise. I think the closest landmark to use as your point of reference is Sankofa Beach or better yet Wakanda Beach. It's right around the corner from Wakanda Beach and the road isn't the best but it's definitely more trouble so you can get there. How much does it cost? That's the reason why I said that this is a place for you and your friends because it costs 550 Ghana cities to rent the place for the whole day. So the more you are, the easier it is on your pockets because I would assume that yes, you would split as friends to rent the place. So for an average of 10 people, it's 55 cities per head for renting the place from about midday till you leave. Now, this is what you get for renting the space. You have a caretaker or someone who's going to wait on you the whole day, prepare your grill, your food, and also clean up the place when you're done. You also find that, like I've already said, there's a kitchen, there's a shower after your ocean swim, there's a toilet in a very spacious deck with a long table to put your food on, and your, you know, your grills. There's a grill for your meat and your fish as well. There will be tumblers, wine glasses, ice buckets, bowls, seven uh, cutlery, and lazy beach chairs, like I already said. And this is what you're getting for renting the place. Everything else you have to pack and bring yourself when you're going there. The great thing is the renters will give you a list of things you should pack and have on you before you get there. But to spare you that, this is what you may need to pack. All the essentials. A fully charged portable speaker for your music is very important. You need your power banks, you need your sunscreen if you have to pick them up, ice chests or cooler for your drinks, towels and beach blankets, and of course, body cream and soap. Ideally, this also means that you need to take some snacks along. If you're going in a big group of about 10 to 12, everybody can bring something so you have enough for the whole day. Let's talk about the food. You can order some sides from them. Uh, the grills as well, lobsters, fish, and whatever it is will be prepped in time just for your lunch. What's nice about this is that the fish and the lobsters that you can order, is mostly fresh catch and some you can even purchase as extras for later to bring home. Godwin is the caretaker who makes sure that you're well cared for and making the fire and grilling the food and prepping the sides like fried yam and all that, he'll do that for you. Of course, it's important to consider taking, you know, some snacks along if you don't want to order their sides that they have there. We had so much food that we packed a lot of leftover. The beachfront is clean and overall is very enjoyable for your friends for the whole day. So I would definitely recommend the deck for you and your friends for your next beach hangout. Like I said before, I'll leave a link to the deck in the description. You can contact them via Instagram and arrange yours. And uh, yeah, that's it on this Good Friday edition of the vlog. Leave me a thumbs up if you found this very helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. 
Enjoy the rest of your long weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Okay. <laughs> I have I have a mad woman in my house. I apologize. I apologize.